Hello fellow friends, so today I'm reviewing or showing you guys my top 11 CDs that inspired me to do something. So number one is Anaxus's Kicks. My mom introduced me to this and I just love it in general. This album just made me branch out to more genres of music. So number 10 is Queens of the Stone Age. Uh, yeah, Queens of the Stone Age's Songs for the Death. Now this one is a great album. It This one it ex inspired me to start drumming because of the song, Songs for the Dead. Because that has heavy bass line from previous drummer um, from Nirvana. Okay. So, number nine is Spirit Phone by Lemon Deep. In general, this is my, like, second album, full album that I've heard from Lemon Demon. Like, I've, my brother introduced me to Lemon Demon when he first played Ultimate Showdown. He loved it so much that he bought it. Um, this one I just love because it just made me branch out and make me listen to different types of music. It had lots of synthesizers. And... I'm excited for the next album that they're releasing. Okay, so number um, eight is American Idiot by Green Day. And I love this album. It just has so many heartfelt songs like um, Last Song, um, What's Her Name, or um, Homecoming. Homecoming is a big, big song that has like two, three, four, five... That has like five songs in the song. The same with um, Jesus of Suburbia. That one has like still five songs on it. Then branching out, there's Saint Jimmy. Give Me Novocaine is a really good song, too. So this just made me like see other genres of music and actually made me branch out to more artists like. Um, the now defunct band um, Operation Ivy, which I love a lot of those songs. So, coming up in number eight is Green Day's Dookie. This is the second album that I've ever heard from Green Day. Um, I just love this album. It has such a like pop punk feel to it. Um, I like uh, the first um, song is Burnout, and Burnout. I love Burnout. It's one, of, it's one of my favorite songs on this album. Then She, um, She is also a really good song. But they remastered one of the songs on this album. Welcome to Paradise was originally on um, the album Kerplunk, one of their first studio albums. So yeah, I, I, I just love this album because it has such a 90s feel to the art, art cover of it. Okay, so number seven is Madness is Madness. So it's a self-named album. I love Madness, because actually these, Madness and um, the, spec the Specials, um, they basically, both those bands introduced me to ska music. So uh, this album has so many good songs, such as Cardiac Arrest, Shut Up, and um, what's it called? Crap. Um, House of Fun. House of Fun is one of my favorite songs to drum to and to listen to. And thanks to Tom Scott for branching me out to different types of music like ska. I, I'm a big ska fan now. Um, so yeah. So that was, so this is number six. Actually, these are in the wrong order, sorry. So, oh no, wait, no, not, sorry. Um, number six is I might get I might be getting these out of order. So number six is the Magical Mystery Tour by the Beatles. Now this has was a was originally a movie soundtrack that got more recognition than the movie that it was actually the soundtrack to. So this album is such a good album that has so many hit singles or hit classics on it like Hello Goodbye, Strawberry Fields, um, Penny Lane and all you need, uh, all you need is love, and I'm the Walrus. 
the this song, this album in general, introduced me to a lot of the um, main keys of the Beatles. Um, it's not the first Beatles album that I listened to. I listened to the number one album that had so many good songs, but left out the Sgt. Peppers and basically a lot of the old older stuff. It just showed off lots of newer stuff. Putting in some older stuff, but not putting in like any any songs from Sgt. Peppers. At least they would put in A Day in the Life, which is the last song on B-side. So, coming in at number, I think it was, oh no, this is number, this is like number four, sorry. So number four is Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band by The Beatles, released in 1964, 1967, not four, sorry. So, this in general, it is one of my favorite Beatles albums coming in at like number two. Because number one is, um, it's not the Magical Mr. Toy, it's the White Album. The White Album introduced me to Helter Skelter, which got me into gr grunge and punk rock, or just, just punk, like Ramones or the Sex Pistols. Um, so, I like the start of the album, like, Sergeant Pe like number one, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band A-Side. Now, how I'm special f specifying Sergeant Pepper's A-Side is because, um, there's actually two Sergeant Peppers. There's the starting Sergeant Peppers and there's the ending Sergeant Peppers. The A-Side of the, of this album and the B-Side of this album. But this is also one of the first CDs I've owned, like, I've bought. The second one would be the White Album. And I just love the start of this album. It comes in with Sgt. Peppers, and then with a little help from my friends, then the psychedelic Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And th it's just such a great album, and it couldn't and it couldn't even be helped with, um, it couldn't be, couldn't even be here without the Beatles going to Mashirihi, um, and learning a lot about, um, peace and stuff. So, this was gonna be my number one favorite, because my childhood. This is Flood by They Might Be Giants, and I was gonna see them live in spring, but COVID happened, and China dropped the big COVID bomb on us, and so it's moved to the December, hopefully I get footage of that and not copyrighted. So this, I love this album, it's from my childhood. I was thinking of adding Apollo 18 on here, but I do not really want to add that and get demonetized, because there's this one song on it that's, you know, it's screwed. It. It's The Statue Got Me High, that one's my favorite one. But this has lots of good songs on it, like the um, One Hit Wonder, well, not even the One Hit Wonder, they have so many good songs, but um, a lot of people know them for Birdhouse in Your Soul or Istanbul or Constantinople. But I love um, the song of uh, Particle Man. That's one of my favorite songs, because I, growing up, I loved science. So yeah. Okay, so moving on to records. So my, so my, my number two record is Father of All by Green Day. This is one of their newest full complete albums. And I just love this album. It has so many good songs on it, like Meet Me on the Roof Tonight, um, and um, Grifter, or um, Father of All, starting track on A-side. My number one favorite album coming in at number one is um, Nirvana's Nevermind. This has, this is my favorite Nirvana album. Actually, no, it's my second favorite Nirvana album, but In Bloom is one of my favorites. Um, this one has so many good songs on it, like Paul Wants a Cracker, that one's kind of dark. Um, but Don You and Territorial Pissing, is my, they're both my favorite songs. Um, and I love the album cover and the back art. I love this. It's just, I don't know, I just love it in general. So that's my top 11 favorite albums. Um, some honorable mentions are, um, like I said, Apollo 18 by They Might Be Giants, The White Blood, White Blood Cells by The White Stripes, um, what's it called? Um, In Utero by Nirvana, 
Um, the Fallout New Vegas soundtrack, that that's just in generally a good album or something to study to. Cause it just has so many good songs or background noise to just listen to. Um, and also, um, Suicide Blonde by, Ner by Ann Access or Oingo Boingo's Dead Man's Party or another thing from another honorable mention by Oingo Boingo is, um, what's it called? Just Lad. That's my favorite or first Oingo Boingo album I've ever heard. So, thanks to that, I'm now Oingo Boingo fan. So, yeah. So, that was my top 11 albums, including honorable mentions. Um, so, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that, and goodbye.